Ladies and gentlemen, today I will be sharing with you my top VPN picks for 2022, including each one's pros and cons so that you can make the best decision possible if you're looking to buy a VPN right now. I do also want to mention that throughout this video, I'll have hidden redemption codes for paid plans for the VPNs that I'm talking about today. So make sure you watch this whole video carefully to be the first to find these hidden codes and links because it will be first come first serve as to who gets the free codes. And if you're here after all the codes are claimed, there will of course still be a discount code and links in the description below for each VPN on this list. Now to kick things off, I wanna talk about what I think is by far the best value for money VPN that gives you great features and great service at a legitimately unbeatable price for what you get. And that is Surfshark. Surfshark has brought plenty of new features over the last few years, and it's been one of my main picks for a long time. It's solid in both speed and stability, and they offer the app on every single device that you can possibly think of, from mobile to desktop to browser apps, etc. Surfshark has thousands of servers across 65 countries around the world, giving you a wide variety of options when choosing a server to use on the app. And in my personal experience, it's been really great on the performance front as well. Impressive on basically all but the most remote servers relative to my location. In terms of nice to have features, the mobile apps are superbly designed and make it really, really easy to get connected both manually and on an automated fashion, depending on your preferences in the app. And the addition of the well-optimized WireGuard protocol being launched on Surfshark has definitely made a huge difference in terms of my mobile devices, especially in terms of speed. Within the apps across different platforms, Surfshark offers plenty of optional features to customize the behavior and use of your VPN, such as website allow listing, VPN kill switch, an ad block and cookie blocking feature, auto connect settings, multi hop connections, and all sorts of other cool features. In addition, streaming and gaming worked really well in my testing across a wide variety of different platforms, so streamers will be very happy with Surfshark. Security-wise, Surfshark follows the same industry standard encryption that's become pretty much ubiquitous in the VPN space, and they've shifted their server operations to RAM or in-memory in a continued effort to adhere to their no-logs policy. In other words, not recording information about your internet traffic on hard disks on these servers. Some were concerned about their new location being moved to the Netherlands, but it seems that this new location does not serve a threat to the no logs policy that they have based on local regulations. Surfshark's true superpower though, is in its value for money. A Surfshark paid plan covers unlimited devices and virtually unlimited traffic. And Surfshark normally runs at about $12.95 US dollars per month on a month to month plan. You can get that price down to $5 per month on a longer term one year plan. And you can also use my link in the description and pinned comment to get a two year plan plus four months of extra service for a little over $2 US per month. And if you do buy it and you don't like it, you do have 30 days to get a full refund. For two bucks a month, I've been using Surfshark on my iPad, my desktop, and my phone seamlessly. And my wife can also use it on all of her devices as well as part of the same plan. So it is a pretty sweet deal. All this being said, Surfshark is not a perfect product. I found that the multi-hop connections, for example, and connections to very remote servers relative to my location can sometimes be hamstrung by slow speeds or more often than not untenable latency for even browsing purposes. I would also really love to see a full scope security audit and no logs audit by a third party as the audits that have been advertised on the Surfshark website are both a little older and a little bit more narrowly scoped than I would have liked. But overall, I really do think Surfshark is one of, if not the best all around VPN and for a wide range of people, it's pretty much the only thing that you need. And I think that Surfshark is cost effective enough for those who are on a budget and want a VPN or someone who wants to get one plan to cover their whole family with different uh, devices in their hands or even an individual with a large number of devices to cover. So if you're looking for a very high performing VPN at a low price, this is a great pick. But what if you're in the market for a privacy focused VPN that checks all the boxes for a very predictable month to month price? If that's you, this next pick is exactly what you're looking for. Now, if you're looking for a trusted, no frills VPN that offers all the features that you need without any nonsense, look no further than this next pick, Mulvad. This is one that doesn't get a lot of love on YouTube, and that's probably because Mulvad does not have affiliate programs. They don't do big sales for the holidays. They don't do a bunch of paid marketing. 
so YouTubers simply don't share it. And this is a real shame, because after giving Mulvad a try myself for an extended period of time, I had to include it in this list. And yes, the link is still in the description below, even though I don't get anything in return for you clicking it and buying Mulvad. Mulvad is a VPN service that's owned by a parent Swedish company that is still run by its original founders, which is very rare in the VPN space, to say the least. VPNs seem to trend towards conglomeration even more over the last several years. There are around 750 servers, around 38 countries available to users of Mulvad, and users can have up to five devices connected on the service at a time. Mulvad offers the standard VPN connectivity protocols across the gamut of their device platforms, the ones you're used to, including the aforementioned WireGuard protocol, which I'm a fan of, and WireGuard offers comparable security to OpenVPN with a handful of benefits, like its usage of modern cryptography, enhanced efficiency, and of course, improved performance that I talked about before. I do want to note that Mulvad's implementation of WireGuard is stellar, and it automatically rotates the WireGuard keys that underlie the security of the connection once a week, and it gives the user the ability to rotate manually more often or as needed, which is a great feature. Speaking of security, Mulvad's security and privacy practices have set the bar for VPN companies with a clear focus on providing industry standard encryption without complex configuration on one's device, plus server infrastructure and account creation processes that are designed to eliminate the collection and storage of information about you, the user. Mulvad's privacy policy can also be thought of as the constitution or the Magna Carta of all privacy policies. It's brilliantly constructed, it's very clear, and it's very obvious in its intention to protect the user. In addition, the apps, which are available on Linux, Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, and Firefox are really easy to use, and they do the job quite well. And everything from settings to connections were pretty intuitive in my testing. And along with that, I was able to get speeds that were comparable to other VPNs that I tested in this same session. I tried to make these tests very equal. So I have no concerns about stability or speed for connections around the world. In keeping with Mulvad's no BS approach to VPN services, they also have a flat pricing model with no long-term plan discounts. It's very clear. It's five euros per month no matter how long you sign up for, which at the time of recording is about $5.60 for US folks and about 4.2 Great British pounds. So that monthly rate is the same, whether you wanna pay for one month, one year, etc. Like other services, you do though have a 30 day money back guarantee if you should buy Mulvad and decide it's not for you. And their support team was pretty responsive to email when I contacted them just to test it out. Of course, there were a few things that I did not love about Mulvad where I think they could improve on things. First of all, the apps themselves are in dire need of a visual overhaul from a UI UX perspective. They work fine, they're pretty intuitive, but Mulvad needs to get its user interfaces modernized to better compete with offerings from other VPN providers. In my opinion, might not matter to you, I like that. In addition, I'd also like to see Mulvad put some effort into working on its streaming compatibility because I had some trouble with popular streaming video services that could be an issue for some users. Finally, Mulvad should set up a live chat support channel because I think it's really important. Email support's fairly responsive, but live chat is just far more user-friendly in many cases and a lot faster for getting help. Overall, Mulvad's a fantastic service and you should consider it in your decision-making process if privacy is your number one goal. That said, if you are more focused on day-to-day -day browsing, streaming, gaming, and general day-to-day -day use of a VPN, particularly if you're watching content online, this next pick is likely to appeal to you. Now this next pick, ExpressVPN, is a well-known and widely used VPN with an expansive list of servers and locations to choose from, expertly designed applications on various devices, and of course, solid support for streaming and gaming for those who use a VPN on a day-to-day -day basis for their everyday browsing needs and content watching needs. One feature of particular note is that ExpressVPN offers its own VPN connectivity protocol called Lightway, and that offers a stable high-speed connection with efficiency that can save battery on your devices in some scenarios, particularly on mobile. Using the well-designed applications, you have access to thousands of servers across 94 countries around the world, which my testing showed to be overall pretty darn impressive in terms of speed and stability, even on very remote servers that other VPNs kind of seem to struggle with. For the average user, 
Delivering a high quality connection to support streaming is the main focus, the thing that most people are looking for a VPN to do, and ExpressVPN supports the major streaming services, we're talking Netflix, Prime, Hulu, etc., with connection speeds that are adequate to support that streaming. Furthermore, ExpressVPN is a British Virgin Islands based company and offers the same industry standard encryption and no logs policies that I've talked about already today for the other two picks but they offer a few little nice security and privacy features that I did want to mention, like private domain name resolution to eliminate DNS-related snooping and switching their servers to run on RAM or random access memory only. I mentioned this before with Surfshark. In practice, this means that any data that passes through those servers is not permanently stored on disk, not stored on a hard drive, only ephemerally in memory. Temporarily, that means. ExpressVPN is one of the most popular VPNs on the market, and that's really no surprise. It offers a lot of functionality and utility for the average internet user in a relatively affordable package. You can currently get a monthly plan for ExpressVPN for about $12.95 a month, or one year of service on ExpressVPN for a little over eight bucks a month. You can use my link as well in the description below to get an extra three months for free on top of that one year plan to bring your total monthly cost down to about $6.67 a month for up to five device connections at a time. You can also get your money back within 30 days if you change your mind, much like the other VPNs, pretty standard 30 days. There are, of course, some areas that I think are cons that you need to be aware of in making your decision in regard to ExpressVPN. And the first would be the elephant in the room, the well-publicized concern that I'm sure people have questions about around ExpressVPN's acquisition by the large conglomerate Cape Technologies. Much ado was made about Cape Technologies past under a different name, Crossrider, including some reported involvement in malware distribution. However, I've done quite a bit of research on this in my own time, and I have not seen any conclusive evidence or reporting that indicates this to be incontrovertibly true. That said, there is an argument to be made that the conglomeration of VPN companies, basically the alignment under one large entity subject to potential government intervention, is a concern for privacy purposes. Duly noted. And the prevalence of VPN review sites being bought out to publish favorable reviews is also something people are concerned about. I would urge you to do your own research on Cape Technologies, parse out your own views on the matter because it would not be appropriate for me to push you one way or the other on this. So I'll provide a few links that I've used to do my own research on this. You do with it what you will. Now, there you have it, folks. There are the top three VPN picks that in my testing rendered the best results for a wide variety of different users with different usage patterns and goals for their use of a VPN. I've left all the links to these VPNs in the description, as well as a few honorable mentions who didn't quite make the cut for the video this time around, but there will be another part to this video shortly, and I urge you to check out my other privacy and security focused videos on the channel, which will be linked here on the screen. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.